Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Cara Cara, which has just released with the SA Supersport Series DLC. Now this monstrous vehicle, this monstrous sixth wheels vehicle is going to set you back $1.7 million, which is very, very expensive. So, um... Let's hope it's fucking good. It's going to have to be good for that price, man. Almost $2 million for a six-wheeled fucking, I don't know, what, three, what pickup truck. Just because it's got a fucking mounted gun on the back, um, Rockstar seems to think that it is worth $1.7 million. Um, but anyway, guys, this is nothing new. This is just a, in a long line of expensive vehicles. I mean, just look next to it. We've got the Deluxo, $3.5 million. We've got the Thruster. 2.7 million, you know, and it could go on. The Kanjali, 2.8. The Stum the Strumberg, 2.3. The RCV, 2.3, you know. So this is just in a long line of very, very expensive vehicles. And it doesn't end there. We've got things in the Legendary Motorsports, which will be released with this DLC update to Tesseract. Man, 2.8 million. The Entity XXR, 2.3. <laughs> the Taipan 1.9 you know what this is just classic rock star it's expensive vehicles so that makes people go out and buy shark cards but um, I'm not going to hold my hopes up for this this Cara Cara um, it doesn't look that great yeah I know it's got a mounted gun on the back you can fit four people inside the vehicle so five overall with the person in the back on the gun but even still is it going to be worth one point seven almost 1.8 million dollars uh, i'm struggling to think it will be but anyway guys regardless of all that we're going to get it purchased for 1.775 million dollars we're going to take it into ls customs and see what sort of customizations we can do so you got my bros now we're inside of ls customs we don't even get a fucking you know the i don't even know what it's called animation <laughs> is that what you'd call it you know the animation when you come into the ls customs and you get um you know the car's class and the car's name pop up didn't even get any of that so this car must just be too big for ls customs so we don't get the driving animation uh, we just do spawn straight into the ls customs like this as you can see i hit a few people on the way in <laughs> but we'll go quickly repair that and uh, we're going to start with 100% body armor as we always do with these builds uh, then obviously with the race brakes we're going to get that we're just going to max everything out with the engine with a level 4 um, the horn well, we don't want no horn fuck what a waste of money that would be and we've got the headlights we're going to go the Xeon headlights uh, we're not going to get a neon kit for it next we've got a respray option uh, so we've got the primary colour to start we're going to go metallic we're going to have it all one colour anyways I think uh, blue actually don't look too bad to be fair but I think we are going to change it. And we are. I'm going to change it to the Formula Red in the metallic. And the secondary colour. We're also going to go metallic. Quickly dot about and see what it changes. Can't really see it changing anything. Oh, it changes. <laughs> Shit, it changes the shock absorbers just underneath there. So, um, fuck, if you blink, you'd have missed that. So, we'll just. What we'll do, we'll go to metallic. We'll change them to, to uh, Formula Red as well. Then we've got the transmission, we're going to grab a race transmission, we've got a turbo, obviously we're going to get the turbo tuning. For the wheels, I actually think the wheels as stock look quite nice, they look like the, the tuner rim, I can't think what they're called, the the Rally Masters, they actually do look a lot like the Rally Masters obviously with off-road and tyres. Um, I'm not going to change them because I actually think they look quite good and I don't think there's going to be anything in this category which is going to look any better. In, uh, in my opinion anyway I mean obviously there's some nice options which is good if you don't you know like the stock rims that is but I actually like the stock rims I think they look quite cool so uh, yeah I'm gonna stay stock for the wheels once we're here we're gonna go into tires and purchase the bulletproof tires and to finish off the build as always we're going to the windows and purchase the light smoke window tin so the same as when we drove in is the same as when we come out we don't get an animation but there we go there is my build on the brand new Cara Cara which is just released into GTA online and um, overall I think it actually looks quite good you know you can fit five people um, total in this vehicle one on the gun four inside the cab uh, which is obviously good if you if you run with a big crew but then there's you want to get in my car do you you want to get in <laughs> but then there's obviously the price is it worth that sort of price don't think it is and um, is it going to be better than the barrage is is another thing uh, which I'm I'm, I'm pondering 
because the barrage is actually really good. It just pushes the barrage that I'm talking about right now, just pushes vehicles out of the way. It can climb anything, you know, and um, I'm actually going to take this over to a cliff and see how well this climbs. Um, but back to its customization, it is fucking lax. It is ridiculous. There is pretty much zero customization. You can change the wheels, the window tint, and the color which is about it uh, there's no bumper option so we can't get any ball bars or nothing like that uh, which is obviously very disappointing considering how expensive this this truck is and um, it doesn't feel fast it's, I've, I'm, I'm trying to compare it to the barrage and the way if how I remember the barrage driving and um, I didn't drive the barrage that too long ago actually because I, I, I just done the, the final heist again you know where you have to collect the barrage um, so yeah I remember the barrage being a lot quicker than this Caracara and um, obviously the barrage again can climb something like this very very easily uh, so we'll just go quickly go up here and just see how it handles it and look at that oh with ease mate with ease oh bumped the rail on the way up but yeah with ease man this is uh, obviously going to rival the barrage in, in climbing up cliffs and mountains fucking hell that car had a hard on for me then didn't it Jesus yeah, a lot of sad, man. This um, this Caracara climbs with ease by the looks, but we're just going to keep going up. Yeah, so this can rival the barrage in, in climbing ability perfectly. I mean, it's got about the same amount of capability as what the barrage has climbing. Um, I'd, I'd say it's on par with its speed as well. Um, obviously, the barrage is its main competitor. Uh, but the barrage has a lot more customization. I can't really remember how much the barrage was. We'll go have a quick look and see how much the barrage was. Oh, so there you go, at the moment of me recording this video, the barrage is actually on sale for 1.1 million, um, which is a fucking bargain, go and grab it. But even at its full price, it is still cheaper than the Caracara. Um, but then again, you can only get, is it three people? Yeah, I think a maximum of three people, but you do have two weapons on there. You have one at the rear, one at the front. So maybe that is, you know, an added bonus. You don't, you don't know, but I think, Personally, I think I'd go for the barrage over this. It, this isn't all that bad, you know. It's not, you know, it's not all bad. It looks quite good. It, you know, it looks mean. It looks like a crazy ass fucking six wheel truck with a big minigun on the back. So it's all good, man. But that's just the price. It's just how much everything costs in, in GTA now. It's just crazy. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is, you know, it's all right. If you got the money and you you run with a big crew and you want something like this, you know, it's gonna meet your requirements and go and grab it. But if it's just you running alone in GTA, you know, it's pretty pointless purchasing. Um, but yeah, that's my review and build on this Cara Cara. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smash a motherfucking like. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.